All right. All right, Marty, I saw this forecast and it knocked my lashes right off. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> They froze them off. You They're might want to put them on. Just take this and do <laughs> the weather. Put them on, all right? Take this and do the weather. <laughs> Good luck following up that. Okay? You're gonna try this. You never follow babies, puppies, or lashes falling off. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Let's go ahead and jump into it. 26 degrees right now at 4:30. It was 34. Temperatures dropping pretty quickly. We're going down to a low tonight of 14. That would be the coldest night of. The winter. The record is two degrees set in 1961. The average is 25. We're seven degrees colder right now on TV Hill than this time yesterday. As that high pressure settles down over the region, we're going to see just a big clump of central Canadian air. Let's slice that polar vortex to settle right in over the area. So, what we'll be talking about tomorrow is continued Arctic air mass in the region. And I want you to notice temperatures overnight will probably bottom out at about 6 a.m. under clear skies. We'll call it. 14 degrees. Remember, that has to happen at BWI Marshall for it to officially be the coldest night of the winter. But nonetheless, generally speaking, area wide, the low to mid teens. So tomorrow, the Arctic air mass remains. Skies remain sunny. Not a lot of wind. We'll call the high 35. The average is 43 degrees. Now, I'm going to start talking about that low. You've been hearing us calling a nor'easter. And if you didn't know, it has to do with the circulation around a low. This comes up the coast. The air comes in off the east, then as it moves up the coast, off the nor'east, the old fisherman would call him a nor'easter. And there you have it. Watch a little bit of snow start to fall around lunchtime Friday. The storm moves up the coast. And area wide from Hagerstown on off to the east, we're going to see a pretty good amount of snow until about 10 p.m. The storm then gets a beam of Ocean City and then quickly goes out to sea, taking its energy with it. The western shore. Should clear by late breakfast, the uh, eastern shore by early mid afternoon. Then the wind mechanism picks up, and that could be its own set of difficulties uh, Saturday night through all of Sunday. Slick roads, no showers, gusty winds, some coastal flooding, western shore of the bay and the coast, any shoreline that faces east or northeast, if you want to look at it that way. We've issued an alert day for Saturday, 28 and 15 before wind chills, Sunday, 30 and 19 before wind chills, that's Saturday night. Could feel below zero. We finally moderate back to 36.43, then too shy of 50 on Wednesday. All right, folks, let me go ahead and throw it back to you. Oh, we're looking at that 48. Yeah, it's the only seriously. thing that's going to get us through.